Hey everybody, um, today we're going to be doing uh, another assembly tutorial. Uh, in this one we're going to be covering um, assembly x86-64 uh, for uh, Linux. Um, so we're going to be coding assembly in Linux. We're going to be creating a 64-bit ELF file. Um, so uh, And what we're going to be doing is getting user input and displaying it back onto the terminal screen. Uh, this is a little more advanced from the hello world in assembly x86 that we did last time. So uh, this is going to require a little bit more understanding about assembly and the registers and um, things like that. So uh, let me actually zoom in here and let's open what I have here. Okay, so what we have is... Um, I made some notes here, author code ASM. Uh, we're gonna be using the Intax Syntel, uh, I mean, wow. Um, we're gonna be using uh, Intel Syntax, um, and this is to capture user input, it prints to the screen. So one of the first things that we wanna do is we need to think about how we're going to uh, get the user input to print to the screen. So what, what I've done is I've I have two, um, I have two strings here in in the data section. Now, data section is used for your you know statically defined uh, uh, variables. Um, um, and you know just as as a disclaimer, I'm still learning assembly myself. So if there's anything that, you know, I doesn't really sound right, you know. Feel free to let me know because I'm still learning as well. So in the data section, we have uh, question, which is the name of the variable, db, which which stands for define bytes, and then we have a string that says how old are you, uh, with a space right here. Um, this is what's going to be displayed first, and then we're going to have a place to put user input. And this is the greeting, define bytes, that's going to say hello, age, and then whatever the age, the number is that we put in. Um, and so now we have a section called BSS. This is where we can reserve, um, reserve a variable, reserve space to put something in there. I've called this age, R-E-S-B, reserve bytes. Uh, I think it's reserve bytes, uh, um, to the best of my knowledge. And we've got four. Now, the reason why, you might be wondering, why four for age? Well, just in case somebody is a thousand years old, they can put in a thousand. Um, realistically, realistically, though, you know, in case somebody is a hundred years old, you can do, you can put three here. Um, but yeah, so essentially when we have an integer in assembly, um, each digit is actually a byte. So four, That'll allow for four integers, um, you know, four, four, four digits, I should say. Yeah, so now we've got the dot text, which is the executable part, and we're going we're gonna to go to global underscore start. So here's, wh here's where uh, we start to learn some stuff. We are going to be needing to uh, define some subroutines. Um, these, these are not called, if you're familiar with other, other high, higher level languages like C and C++, these are not actually called functions, these are subroutines. Um, and so, yeah, so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to print the question, which is here, then we're gonna get the age from the user, we're going to print the age, um, and which is going to be this, and then we're going to display the age right after, uh, literally right here. So, when we start, uh, basically, yeah, so this is going to handle all of that, and at the very end, we're going to, well, okay, let's, let's worry about that later. So the first, the first subroutine is print question. So if we get onto print question, you know, we, we define it with an underscore print question and then a colon, uh, you know, we indent and, okay. So what is all of this? If you've never touched assembly before, this may look very confusing. Um, 
but it's it's actually it's 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 pretty simple once you get the hang of it so essentially what we want to be doing is we we are going print print question requires us to uh, we want to do a system uh, a system write we want to do a system write uh, essentially printing something to the screen so we have a register here called RAX and we are moving the number one into RAX. What does that mean? Okay. So um, when we're getting ready to do a syscall, RAX handles either standard input, standard output, or standard error. Um, zero is standard uh, input. One is standard output. So we want to be printing something to the screen, outputting something to the screen. So we're moving one into this register, telling the system that we will be doing um, output. Okay. Now we have RDI and we're moving one into RDI. What does that mean? So RDI is the file descriptor, meaning that we want to, we're telling the system that we want to print something to the screen. Okay. So the next question is what are we printing to the screen? RSI is our kind of buffer that's going to hold the data that we want to print to the screen. So we are moving question into RSI. And what is question? Question is how old are you? Okay. Now RDX is the register that handles the size of the data, the count, if you will. So we're moving 17 into RDX. Why 17? Because if you count here, this entire string is 17 um, uh, 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 bytes long. It's, it's 17 in length. So, uh, yeah, I was here. Okay, and so now that we've set all of that up, we simply tell the system syscall, and then we return back to the main, back to the main, uh, back to start. Okay, so now we're going to call underscore get age. So here's get age. Now, get age uh, is, is a little bit different from before. What we're doing is we're moving zero into REX. What does that mean? Well, remember from before, REX handles whether we're doing standard input, output, or error. One is output, zero is input. We're going to be getting something from the user. Okay, so RDI is the file descriptor. We're getting something from the user. It's input, so we're going to move zero into that register. RSI handles the buffer. And so what are we going to what what are we going to be putting into uh, what are we going to use as our buffer? Uh, age, because we want to supply, in age, uh, we, we want to store the user input age into age. And so RSI is going to handle that. Um, so we're gonna be storing our age inside of this here. And it's gonna be, it's going to only allow for four bytes long. Okay, and so yeah, so RDX is still our count and it's four bytes, so we move four into there and we just simply do a syscall and we return. So now we've got the age. Now we need to print the age. So we go down to print age. And you know, this is very this is very simple. Again, you know, output, output, moving the greeting into RSI, which is our buffer. And the, remember the greeting is here. So it's gonna say hello age. And then what we're going to do is the count for RDX is 12. And if we go up here and confirm the length of this, yep, it's 12 bytes long. Okay, and then we syscall and we return. And so the final thing that we're going to do here is we're going to dis actually display the age right after displaying the greeting, okay, with display age. So this subroutine, you know, um, standard output, output, RSI, 
containing the buffer, move the age into the buffer. How long is age? It is four bytes long. And so we have displayed it. Syscall return. Okay. After that, we need to do a little bit of cleanup. And so what we do is we uh, basically RAX, um, we give it, we move 60 into RAX, essentially telling the system that we are exiting. And then we reset RDI, which is our file descriptor, back to zero. And we do a syscall. And from there, the uh, program will exit gracefully. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's actually figure out, you know, how do, how do we compile this and turn it into an ELF file? Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna use NASM. So if you haven't, if you don't have NASM uh, for Linux, you know, whatever Unix system you're on, just do sudo apt get install NASM. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, so yeah, we we specify the file as an elf64 and supply your assembly file, user input, and the output is going to be an object file, user input.o. Let's run that. Great, no errors. The next thing we want to do is we want to do uh, we want to take um, we want to you know do all the linking stuff so we supply user input the object file and the output is going to be user input now you can put um, .elf if you want but you don't have to it's going to be an elf file anyways okay no errors there and so now if we actually look at the user input file we can see that it is an ELF file. Okay, and we can see a little bit of the, you know, data that we have in there. So now what we can do is let's actually run it. And it says, how old are you? Uh, let's put in my age, 23. And it says, hello, age 23. There you go, and it exits. Uh, so hopefully this helps. And uh, you know, if I got anything wrong, let me know, and uh, let me know if you want more assembly tutorials.